Welcome, my friend. It's good to see you again. Take a seat, take a drink, and listen to the legend of the wizard of Alderley Edge. Now, Alderley Edge in Cheshire probably isn't high on your list if you're planning a trip to England. In fact, I'll be surprised if you've even heard of this northern village. Not far from Manchester, overlooking the Cheshire Plain, most tourists will go right past it if they even come this far north. But if you have the chance to take a detour to this village, you can find out about the local legend and find the Wizard of the Edge and the Wizard's Well of Alderley Edge. The legend of the Wizard of Alderley Edge has been around for centuries and as such there is more than one version, each with slightly different forms, but the main parts of the legend remain the same. Here is the legend as I have been told. One day, a farmer from Moberley decided to sell his milk-white mare, so he set off with the horse to Macclesfield Fair where he could sell her. On the way, they had to pass by Alderley Edge, and as they reached the edge, the mare refused to move. This was near a spot locally known as the Thieves Hole, and no matter what the farmer tried, the mare would not budge. Suddenly, an old man appeared, strangely dressed and holding a staff. This peculiar old man offered the farmer a large sum of money for the horse, but the farmer refused, thinking that he would get a better price at the market. Go then to Macclesfield, replied the wizard. You will not find a buyer for your horse there. If you find these words to be true, meet me this evening and I shall take your horse. The farmer laughed at these prophetic words of a bizarre old man, thinking there was no way they could come true. As the old man disappeared into the woods, the mare allowed herself to be led on to Macclesfield. At Macclesfield Market, though many praised the beautiful mare, none offered to buy her, much to the farmer's disappointment. So after the market was over, he set off for home with his white mare. As the farmer approached Alderley Edge, he could see the same strange old man waiting for him. The man offered the sum of money again for the horse, this time the farmer agreed to sell, so the old man asked the farmer to follow him with his horse. The old man led the farmer through the forest, past Stormy Point and its views, and further still. As the farmer began to worry if he had made the right choice, and if the peculiar man had ulterior motives, he heard other horses neighing. It sounded like it was coming from underground. The old man stopped. They were in front of a large rock. The old man took out a wand and touched the rock. At the touch of the wand, the rock slid open, revealing a pair of iron gates which flew open with a thunderous crash. The horse shied and whinnied, and the farmer fought down his own fear as he tried to control the beautiful horse. Do not fear, the wizard told the farmer. Come and look upon a sight that no mortal has looked upon. Not knowing what else to do, the farmer followed the old man into the cave. Down, down, down they went, until they reached a huge cavern. Once his eyes adjusted, the farmer saw that there were over a hundred knights in shining silver armour, all asleep. Next to each knight was a milk-white horse, except one who was horseless. With your horse, these men are now complete, spoke the wizard as he set the farmer's horse next to the knight and set her to sleep. When the farmer asked what the purpose of the knights and the horses were, the wizard replied, There will come a day when I will wake these men and horses. They will then descend onto the plain during the last battle of the world. It is these that will decide the fate of that battle. Following the wizard into another cavern, the farmer was shown a hoard of treasure, gold, silver, and all manners of precious jewels all piled in a heap. Pointing to the treasure, the wizard told the farmer to take all that he could carry in payment for his mare. He then led the farmer out of the caves. As the farmer stepped out into the cool night air, he turned around, but wizard and iron gates had vanished. And so ends the tale of the Wizard of Alderley Edge. I hope you enjoyed the story. And if you did, please subscribe, like, and maybe leave a comment down below. 
Farewell, my friend. I wish you a safe journey home and hope to sit with you again very soon. <laughs>